Restorations with prominent cusps are of ultimate importance for chewing efficiency. When we have a closer look at the real-time masticatory movements of the mandible with Modjaw technology, we can better understand how preparation of the occlusal surfaces in three dimensions with tuberosities and grooves instead of two dimensions, which is flat, add to the food grinding. However, in practice, we mostly face with restorations prepared with flat occlusal morphology in the laboratory. In fact, the most important reason for this inappropriate situation is not using articulators that are compatible with the masticatory system for the fabrication of these restorations. Unfortunately, some laboratories still use occlusors which are not compatible in size with the human temporomandibular joint just because they think they are practical to use. Indeed, either a single crown or a full mouth rehabilitation should be designed considering especially the mandibular lateral movements in order to avoid interferences. Therefore, our dental technician should possess an articulator that can mimic the patient's individual jaw movements. Since the articulators are fabricated in mean temporomandibular joint and mandible size, this can be easily achieved through small adjustments. On the other hand, intraoral interferences are inevitable when restorations designed in occlusors are used since they would not reflect the same lateral movement pattern of the patient. To decrease this risk, the restorations prepared with occlusors are fabricated in flat occlusor morphology. Otherwise, it might take more time to adapt the cusp to patient's lateral movements in aesthetic try-ins. To sum up, articulator use is beneficial for an occlusal morphology with high chewing efficiency. However, it is not sufficient alone. In practice, face wolf should also be used to minimize the need for occlusal adjustment. By this way, the cusps can be transferred to the articulator exactly in the same distance of the teeth to the temporomandibular joint, and lateral movements can be mimicked. In addition, articulator systems where previously mentioned Bennett angle, Bennett movement, and condylar pathway parameters can be adjusted are effective in reducing the clinician's responsibility for occlusal perfectionism.